Back in the lab, and by lab, I mean Batcave. I feel like Bruce Wayne back here. Actually, today's sneakers are very Batman-esque, very Gotham City-ish. Before we break them out though, before we dive in, the proverbial swan dive into the sneaker box, I wanna say thank you to Kickstar for us. They always look out, and this sneaker, a lot of people were asking to see it. I did not buy these, this is not my pair, but Kickstar for us, let us bring them back here to the lair and kind of break them down a little bit. A lot of people were asking so here they are for your viewing pleasure the people have asked and we are men of the people three two one bang bang the nike fear of god one shoot around we did a video on the fear of god one already it's a little bit of a different variation of this sneaker but people were asking to see these the light bone colorway it releases pretty soon i think but like i said this model is a little bit different it is called the shoot around and i personally don't like them as much as just the plain fear of god one it's funny because we recently did our top 10 sneakers of 2018 we did that video and a lot of people were saying that this sneaker should have been on the list and not only that but a lot of people were saying that it was the best sneaker of the year the best nike of the year the best collaboration of the year etc etc is this the sneaker of the year best shoe of 2018 well they did release in 2018 but other than that hell to the na 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 no way this sneaker is the best sneaker of the year in my opinion it's not on my list i understand people saying that they should be in the top 10 although i stick by the list that buckets and i compiled buckets is behind the camera i can understand the argument for someone saying it's top 10 for me they just aren't extremely wearable they remind me a lot of the Yeezy 750, a sneaker I've had in several different colorways, and a sneaker I've worn almost never. See, and that's the thing. There's a difference in appreciating a shoe, for me, almost the same way you would appreciate art, and then actually wanting to wear that shoe there's a big difference and i like to wear mine if it isn't something i'm gonna wear if it's a sneaker that's just gonna collect dust then there's no reason to hang on to them you know i end up just getting rid of them because i'm not wearing them i do like the overall aesthetic of these but like i said it's just not for me to wear let's run through the details real quick and then we'll talk a little bit more nike swoosh on both sides it's obviously a high top you got the funny laces that wrap around velcro strap the material they used on the upper is like a nylon and a fuse and then you obviously have have the rubber midsole air fear of god on the side chunky air bubble as you can see that's low-key my favorite part of the shoe i really really dig that it's a cool sneaker it's just not really my style i said if i got a pair for retail i'd play ball in them i'd pull a pj tucker and hit the court in them but i was not able to get my hands on a pair for retail so that's probably not gonna happen that idea is probably not gonna come to fruition at this point this is a sneaker that i'm just gonna admire from afar i've seen people rock them and they look dope i think that's a thing too it all depends on how you rock a sneaker you could make the dopest shoe look terrible or you can make the ugliest shoe look dope depending on how you do it you got to add your own sauce to it and there are sneakers that i do admire from afar they look dope on other people i just don't like how they look on me and these kind of fall into that category how do you feel about them though i will say one thing the bone colorway i like it a lot more i think i would be a lot more inclined to rock that pair as opposed to this pair for some reason i don't know the colorway just appeals to me more how do you all feel about these though do you think it's in the discussion like legitimately in the discussion for sneaker of the year in 2018 i mean they released right at the end of the year kind of snuck it in there i think it was cool to see nike collaborate with fear of god but i don't think that automatically makes it the sneaker of the year give us your thoughts how do you feel about them do you think are you one of those people that thinks it legitimately is the sneaker of the year or even in the discussion and if you don't think that this is the sneaker of the year i surely don't leave a comment below and let us know what do you think is the best sneaker from 2018 or even the best collaboration collaboration from 2018. However you're feeling, leave a comment below. You know how we do. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place right here at Z Workshop. Until then, I'm out of here.